Hi everybody, today we will learn about like and unlike terms in algebra. So let's first list a few terms or few algebraic expressions. So my favorite 4x, 3y, 3xy, 8x, 8xy, 4z, 3, or uh, let's take something else like. Nine Y and five X, right? As you know, each algebraic expression is made up of two parts. One is constant, like in this, the score is constant, and another one is variable. We call them literals also. So this 4 is constant and then this x is variable. Similarly, if we see other terms like this, 3xy, here this 3 is a constant and xy is variable. So what 3xy actually means, it is 3xy is actually 3 multiplied by x multiplied by y. Isn't it? We have learned it in earlier videos. Right? So, let's go ahead with like terms and unlike terms. So, like terms are the terms which have same variable part. We have to see only the variable parts. Like, if we see this term, 4x and 3y. Here in this 4x the constant is 4 and variable is x. In this 3y the constant is 3 and variable is y. Okay. So what, is, what are like terms? Like terms are terms which have the same variable part like this x and we have x where here also we have x in 3xy we have one x right but along with this x we have one more variable which is y so the variable total variable part in this term 3xy is actually xy this is variable And this is constant. And while finding what we are doing, we are taking care of only variable part. We, we want the same variable part in those terms, which are called like terms. So definitely 4x and 3xy are not like terms because the variable part is different. So let's talk about 4x and 8x, right? Here, the variable part in 4x, the variable part is x and 8x also, the variable part is x. So what are the like terms? Let's list like terms. So we have found two. They are 4x and 8 x is there any other term with the same variable this is 8xy this is not 8xy is not 4z is not 9y is not 5x here the variable x is same as the variable part in the term 4x so 
5x. So we got one set of like terms, which is 4x, 8x and 5x. Now let's talk about few other terms. Now let's talk about few other terms. Let's see what about this 3y. Okay. This 3y. Do we have any other term with y as variable part? This 3y and 3xy is definitely not there. 8xy is also not there because it has variable part as y but x is also there along with y. So the total variable part is x, y, as we have earlier discussed, right? So there is one more. Yeah, this is here. It is 9y. So what is another set of like terms? It's 3y and 9y. Okay? So we let's strike out terms which we have considered. We have considered this. 4x, 8x, and 5x. Then we have considered 3y and 9y. Okay, now let's talk about this xy. 3xy. And there is one more term with xy. 8xy. So this is another set of like terms. Okay. And let us strike let us strike them out. And there is one 4z. This 4z. This was the last term which was remaining in the list, and it doesn't have any other term which is like this. So we have got one, one, two, three, and four sets of like terms. In first group, we have four x, eight x, and five x. Right? In second group, we have three y and nine y. And in third group, we have 3xy and 8xy and in fourth group we have 4z okay so this is how we find like terms so what are like terms like terms are terms which may have different constant part but they are supposed to have the same variable part like if one has x all of them should have x as variable part okay and if one have x y all of them should have x y as variable part they are called like terms okay so the terms which have same variable part are called like terms